and Friday night, a look at Atlanta's opening lap. Hunter at the three with Collins at the four. Back out of the job there with Trey Young. And it's Capella in the bus. And for Cleveland, Darlene and Sexton man the backboard. Kevin Love out there with Allen. And it's Okoro in a small forward. Here's Allen, and it's Allen with the jam. And there's the patience you want to see from Sexton. Eyes up, and he finds the open man. Young off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. We have an awesome backcourt battle tonight, Steve. Let me ask, are we in a guard-centric league right now? We are, Kevin. I mean, we've always had great guards, and they lead you through championships with their leadership and their play, along with the big guy. But what's happening right now, Kevin, the big man is playing like a guard. The skill level of these seven-footers is being shoot threes, dribble, pass. So it does seem like a guard-centric league right now because everybody can play that position. Capella finds Bogdanovich. Back to Capella. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. And that one's good. Hunter, a 42% three-point shooter in college. Hunter continues to shine beyond the arc. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, I was able to talk with J.B. Bickerstaff for a minute. There are numerous problems that Trey Young presents. The coach is focused on Young shooting. After watching the tape, Coach said he'll instruct his defenders to pick up Young as soon as he crosses half court. And he emphasized that's not hyperbole. You can't say they don't respect his range. Kevin? All right, David, thanks. Collins with it, and Allen picks him up defensively. Shot by Collins, no good. Look, great positioning on the putback. Well, how does love come up with this? Effort, energy, look at the competitive spirit. Young pass to Capella. And it's set back by Allen. In transition, here come the Cavaliers. And it's blocked. And oh, here we go. Young's got it. The fast break chance. Hunter, no one around him, hits the three-point pop. Hunter's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Hawks. Cavaliers have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Uh, vicious to Sexton. I post down. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. That's on Clint Capella. Such a force as Allen goes to the line. A, a real throwback. Jared is a center who primarily operates near the hoop. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. The threat of Young's jumper forces defenders to play him close, making it easier for him to get by his man. And that one drops for him. Young's got six. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Now, here's Sexton. Defense right on him. Makes it off the glass. Just a creative ball handler. Sexton does a really good job with his change of speeds and direction, keeping the defender off balance. A nice shot by Young. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed that the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Now oh, here's Allen. And contact down the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And his teammates love it. When Allen is aggressive trying to score, really puts pressure on the opposing defense. So both teams making some changes here. And Williams, here we go. Pass to going up. Feeds to Okonwu. Here's Rash. No good from outside. The Cavaliers trail by four. Now, Berlin. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Good work there as it goes. This is why you're trying to give him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. Gallinari left side, back to Williams. Plays it up and makes it in. Gallinari, very unselfish, draws a lot of defensive attention, 
which often leads to open teammates. Now, here's Garland. He's guarded by Williams. Got a piece of it. They retain possession. There's 126 left in the first quarter of the game. To the inside, Okongwu, the pass to Herder. Good on the triple. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. For Cleveland, they've gone four for nine from the field to start this game. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. Passes to Herder. Out to Gallinari. Pass to Okonwu. There's Williams with the three. He can't get it to go. So Kubo will take it the other way. Thirty-four seconds left to play in the first quarter. The Hawks leading by five. In the corner. Herder with it. A three-pointer is right on target. Herder's got six. Outstanding start from three-point range. Their shooters are on fire. And here is Garland. Six on the shot clock. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And there's the foul, which goes against Atlanta. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Both shots good from a strike. I'll tell you, he doesn't get points away. Excellent job from the line. Missed inside. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks. With a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. And the three-point shot has been big for him. We'll return shortly. so far halfway through the first half in this one now what do you guys think about the hawks here in this one yeah in that first period they look to push in transition at every opportunity that's their mindset attack attack and attack some more you're not going to beat them playing soft and a chance here presented by gatorade to see who's on the floor all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter and so in the game for the Cavaliers, Larry Nance out there with Tony and Prince. Then there's Gardner. And it's Wade in at the center position. Poor interior defense. If you play him soft, he's going to kill you. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Sweet Lou at his finest, attacking, drawing contact, and finishing what he started. Okoro, he's checked in for Cleveland. Colin Sexton comes in for Garland. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Atlanta. John Collins comes in for Gallinari. Sexton, the pass to Prince. Offline with his three. The Hawks leading by nine. Here's Collins, and he gets it to go. Assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Well, John Collins has the potential to be a star for this team. Continues to be a powerhouse on the offensive end. He can tack from inside as well as outside. Collins finds Capella. Here's Snell. Williams in the post. Defended by six. Williams gets the bucket. Williams has got the lead up to 13 now for the Hawks. For Cleveland, they've gone one of three to start out the second quarter. And Collins said so himself. He believes he'll be a max contract player when he hits free agency. You know what, GA? I love the confidence from him. If you look year to year, his numbers are improving at an unbelievable rate. He just might get that max contract. He's given a great lift to this offense tonight. Very, very efficient. 
Now, here's Okoro. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Sexton for three. Rebounded by the Hawks. Williams looking around. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Williams has got 11 here in this quarter alone. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Lead outside. Now the pass to Nance. Okoro with it. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. A shot by Sexton, no good. The struggle is real. He's been way off with this shot all evening long. He can't get that one. The Cavaliers trail by 15. Prince outside. Up top, Nance. Wade kicks to Prince. Here's Sexton, and Capella sends a bit. Opponents have to be careful when Capella is in the area. What an impressive display of timing. Cavaliers making a switch here. Love's checked in. Then for the Hawks, Bogdanovich is checked in for Kevin Hurt. And Trey Young subbed in for Lou Williams. I'm sure you've got a list, Greg, of players you've visited with over the years who you really enjoy spending some time with and talking to. I mean, there's so many, Kevin. Uh, a couple guys, and there is a little bias as a point guard, but Danny Lillard and, and Steph Curry and, and Chris Paul, three guys that you know, I enjoy sitting down and talking to shot for. Uh, and Giannis, you know, witnessing his journey to greatness. All the while, he remains humble and he really appreciates his position. So several of these guys, uh, I'm also a, not just an analyst partner, but a fan. And, a big fan of theirs. You are a fan indeed. And it's Capella missing. Meeting right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. Prince misses. Here's the Hawks with the ball. They're on a 15 to 6 run. Here's Capella. Gets rebounded by Cleveland. Love's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Sexton. Looking to end his cold spell, and Sexton slams it in. And how about the leaping ability there on the slam? I love how Sexton just rises up with confidence inside. And Atlanta calls their first time out of the game. And for years now, GA, Kevin Love, one of the better outside shooting big men in the game. He can really light it up. I tell you, when Love gets it going, he is hard to slow down. Great on the catch and shoot. Hard to believe it wasn't a large part of his game until he was established in the NBA. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Okongwu is checked in for Clay Capella. DeAndre Hunter comes in for John Collins. And it's ready shit for Tony Snell. Here's Garland. Master Windler tries it for 19. And there's another one for the Cavaliers. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. Here's Young in Atlanta again with the bucket. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the bank. Now, here's Garland. He started close, and he drops it in from the low post. Garland's got four points in the quarter. I love the confidence he's shooting with. Big improvement here in the second period. There's the feed to Okonwu. Passes it to Young. To the paint. And there's Okonwu. That's good on the assist by Young. That's next level vision. Young could probably lead the league in assists if that were his goal. It will go down, and the Hawks lead has kept down to 13. Good bucket there from Garland. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in the second. Back to Bogdanovich. The three. Good on the three-point shot. Bogdanovich has got five points so far. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. And from one half, it hasn't even been close. Hawks on top. 
Hot Bites. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. After one half of play, it's been a, Lou Williams has been having a big night. He had 13 points, two rebounds, and one more. And that'll... are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. It's been a click out there by Lou Williams. Definitely been challenging the defense here early on, not settling for anything outside. He's been very effective on the move, forcing the action, getting to his spots, and finishing plays. And so in the game for the Hawks. Under at the three with Collins at the four. Trey Young is out there at Buckeyes, and it's Capella in at the five down low. Here's a curl, a putback, and staying with the play, Allen. A superb offensive rebound. Allen's long arms and feel for how to get positioning helps big time. And a wide open look for Capella. Down low. And that one's good, Hunter. He's got eight. Not just selling for something along the perimeter. Excellent job. To the middle. And Sexton slams it in. I'd say that shot is well within his range. <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> Young passes to Capella. Outside Cowan. Back to Capella. They kick out to Young. Fires the three. It's good for his eighth consecutive basket in only eight tries. Wow. And he's the main reason they have the lead right now. He's been perfect from the field, literally. A Coro with it, guarded by Hunter. A Coro passes to Garland, and Capella sends it back. Goes back up. A Coro shot is off. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Capella kicks to Hunter. Oh, oh, good on the triple. The Cavaliers trail by 19. Inside, here's Allen. The basket good off the assist from Sexton. Sexton's got four assists now tonight. You really got to hit Allen if you want to stop him. Just so long and strong from there. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. A different look now for Cleveland. Wade, he's checked in for Allen. Nance comes in for Kevin Love. And it's Prince in for Okoro. And then for Atlanta. Alinari, he's checked in for John Collins. Kevin Herter comes in for Bogdanovich. And Tony Snell subbed in for Young. And here's Gallinari outside. Connects from three-point range. That's a beautiful play call. Gallinari's dangerous off the catch because it allows him to get his shot in rhythm. Here's Sexton. An easy two points on the way. Sexton's got four points this quarter. They are just killing him on the interior. Snell, the pass to Capella. Here's her. He's got six. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Herder's got eight points. This is where Herder's toughness comes into play. Inside against physical deep. High arcing shot. Sexton's shot is good. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Snell dishes to Capella. Out to Gallinari. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. And that one, good. Against physical D, Gallinari with an improved strength and body control to finish. And the Cavaliers call time here. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. And the Cavaliers making a change here. And so it's Cleveland with it. Ball's not loose. Only one man back on D. Here's Herder. Another three for Atlanta. 
You know, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. For Cleveland, they've gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% from the field. Our section. He's got 10. And Smitty, if I'm coaching DeAndre Hunter, I'm making him watch nothing but tape of Kawhi Leonard. He has that type of body and can aim to be that kind of player. Gee, I totally agree. Both the lauded as mostly defensive players as rookies. Hunter showed he has some shiftiness to his game offensively. I think he has the chance to be on the same level at the end of the day as Kawhi Leonard. No harm in having that as a goal. Allen finds Sexton. Will it go? It's rebounded by Herter. Mm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. Awesome concentration there. When Hunter's committed to scoring, he's hard to stop. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And taking a look back at last year's numbers, he's about a 76% shoot. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Okongwu is checked in for Clint Capel. Radish comes in for Gallinari. Lou Williams is subbed in for Tony Snell. Timeout called the Cavaliers. Uh, let's see if Coach can get them back on the right track. Because right now it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. John Collins, he's checked in for the Hawks. Bogdanovich comes in for Kevin Herter. Here's Osman. One oh five left to play here in the third. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And then, folks, he did not luck into that one. He was just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Count the basket. Williams has got 15. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots in close range. Sixth in the pass to Austin. This is a duel. And it's blocked. Right side, Bogdanovich. Reddish. Windward with the rebound. For Cleveland, they've gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6 of 13 from the field here in the third. Pass to Osman. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. He is going to go on Onyeka Okongwu. First trip to the line for him here. And, you know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. Okongwu with it, working on Allen, kicks it out to Collins. Let's it go with a three. And Reddish, the bucket on the assist by Collins. Reddish has got his first three points of the game. He's off on that one. And so it's Atlanta having no problems at all. Up 29 points heading into the next quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. We've got more in store for you right after this. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this speed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Creating plays for others, it's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Ashman and Love are the forwards. A coral out there with Colin Sexton. And it's Hartenstein in at the five. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Here's a coral. The basket good off the assist from Sexton. A has got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for Cleveland. Right wing. Here's Fernando. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. For three, Williams gets it to go for bucket number eight. He's taken just ten shots. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. Sexton against Dunn. Looking to get it going. And that's two points on the way. 
They lack lust the first half. He's taking charge offensively. We'll see how the defense responds. That one falls. What I like is when Chris Dunn keeps his poise, keeps his eyes up, good things happen. Switched it on the wing. Dunn covering. A pass to Okoro. Here's Hartenstein. Pass to Austin. It's stolen by Reddish. And now here comes Williams leading the break. Dunn shots good. Strength, focus, hard head approach. Chris Dunn powering through contact. For Cleveland, they've gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Here's Sexton. Doesn't go for him. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Out to the right wing. Dunn outside. To the pink. Fernando, that's good. This is the type of playmaker Lou is. Outstanding at getting it to his open guys. Sexton, the pass to Love. Back to Sexton. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. And the shot is good. Sexton's got four points in the court. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. A slow start, but this quarter, he has really been the man. Dunn shot's good. Challenging the heart of the defense, Dunn will break you down if you don't stay connected to him. Down against Sexton. And Sexton slams it in. You know he's pulling his weight, but they still find themselves behind. Williams. Well time pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And that's 20 points for Lou Williams. Moving it around, eight of their last 10 coming off assists. Sexton against Dunn. Now, here's Okoro. He's covered closely. And that one's good, Osman. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Fernando can't get it to go. And so, Sexton will bring it up for Cleveland. Down low. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with a foul. It's going to go on Onyeka Okongwu. The versatile skill set of love. The defender has no idea which move he's going to. And the Hawks making a change here. Going up is checked in. The Hawks have gotten it done so far from the field here on the fourth. Going six for seven. And the shot goes down. Man, when Sweet Lou gets on a roll, it's a beautiful thing to watch. He is lighting them up tonight. Here's Sexton, shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. You know, I love how he absorbs in the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Kevin Gelly's checked in. Good on the second free throw. He needed to convert on all of those. Missed opportunities at the line are the last thing they need right now. Dunn misses. A for effort, but when there's that much resistance at the rim, better find another option. Stephens can't get it to go. For Atlanta, they've gone seven and nine from the field down the stretch here in the fourth quarter. Terrific shooting. Williams gets the bucket. Really no way to stop that defensively. Lou can pull up at any moment. Just don't know when. Down against Sexton. This is a dark shot. One nineteen left in the fourth quarter. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's tonight. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Atlanta. Great, generous ball movement tonight. A thing of you. Yeah, a remarkable team effort. They got everyone involved. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Lou Williams. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of, where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel. Here's Steffens. 
to the middle. And he throws it down home with one hand. And he wasn't about to do anything that would get him in trouble there. Nope, uh, up and in with a one hand uh, finish, uh, the most basic possible. And, and it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end, it's another to finish. Hartenstein passes to Sexton. Basket good. On the heels of this one, you wonder where was this effort earlier on? Well, the question becomes are they playing that much better now? Or has their opponent taken the rest of the night off? Dunn misses. Sexton deciding where to go with him. And so Lena takes this one by a big march. This one was over well before the final. All right, David, thank you. Thank you for joining us.